gosh. We're gonna go ahead and try Snoop Frog and a couple of the other frogs and just see if they'll eat these stillborn Kenyan sand boys. I, I didn't wanna have to break the news to you guys this way. It's really a bummer. Eric's fire. Today is Eric's last day. Boom! Oh, right in the poopy water, got me right in the face. Jimmy, I'm not gonna tell you again. Stop. Look at how beautiful she looks right now. I mean, she just looks incredible. I tell you what, until you get the snake out, you really don't realize how big she is. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I'm not really sure how my day is going to go because Mary said we have some bad news downstairs. Let's go ahead and take a look. Just coming down checking on the sand boas. Mary said that there was a disaster litter of sand boas. Oh, I don't even want to take a look. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. Look at their, oh, they're fully formed. Perfect. Wait, what, what has she got going on here? What has she got going on? Oh, there's something actually stuck. I'm going to go ahead and pick her up because it looks like she's got a baby actually stuck inside of her right here. Take a look at that. That is absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna gently pull this out. Ah, gosh, that is so, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to get it out. It's literally stuck in there. Oh my gosh. Come on, girl. What is going on? Okay, I got, okay. It seems like something is going on. I don't know what is up with this. This is bizarre, it's actually, I think it's actually a ripped overduct is what it is. You can see it's on both sides where there's actually like a tear in the overduct. So what I'm gonna to try to do is just really gently squeeze this through and hopefully get this all, oh, there it is. I got it out, there it is. It looks like she's completely done when it comes to any other babies. This was the last baby, but boy, what a disaster clutch. What I think happened probably is this baby probably got stuck and then all the other babies probably died because they were suffocated because they need to be born. And this was the one that somehow got kind of twisted up in the overdock. Regardless, let's see if there's anything going on in here. It looks like obviously we had that one bad baby. We have two, three, four bad babies all together. So that's not good at all. I'm gonna go ahead and set these down and just see if there's anything. Oh yeah, at least there's some good ones in here. That is great. I'm so happy that she had at least some babies. It looks like we have, let's see, one, two, three aneurthristics. That's absolutely incredible. She was actually a head aneurthristic bred to an aneurthristic Kenyan Sambo. I'm gonna set these aside really quick. And then we've got two more babies here and then we'll look through the rest. We actually put her on paper. Normally they're on Aspen, but we put her on paper because it seemed like she was struggling a little bit. So let's see if, oh, there's some more babies. All right, this is good. There's two more aneurystics right here. Chubby little monkeys too. It's a bummer she got bound up. So it looks like she had a good amount of babies that came out and then she bound up. And then unfortunately the other babies perished while she was trying to get them out. And then of course we have one more normal. So all together, not too bad of a litter. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and your three six and three normals. I don't think there's, there's anything else in here. I'll check really quick and I'll get this cage all cleaned up. Poor mama, but she's gonna be completely fine now that she's past those babies. She's gonna be okay. Not exactly a great clutch, but wasn't as much of a disaster as I thought. And thank gosh, we were able to get that baby out and save that female's life. Listen, we hate to see any snakes not be born alive or in fur legs, but we always try to repurpose, right? So the frogs really will eat snakes in the wild. So we're gonna go ahead and try Snoop Frog and a couple of the other frogs and just see if they'll eat these stillborn Kenyan sand boys because what else are we gonna do with them? And again, to keep our frogs healthy, we like lots of variety. So we take an opportunity that isn't good and try to turn it into the best we can. So let's go ahead and see if Snoop Frog wants it. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's taking it for sure. There it is. I, again, I don't like to do it. I don't want to do it, but hey, what else am I going to do with these babies that didn't make it anyway? So this will be a great meal for him or any of the other frogs that want to eat today. Guys, I, I didn't want to have to break the news to you guys this way. It's really a bummer. Eric's fired? Today is Eric's last day. Aww. We had to let Eric go. Why? Today's his last day. You were letting too many snakes loose. Yeah. It's over. It's over. But Just, it's Eric. It's 
Just be like a man and take it like a, no. So the deal is, oh, yeah. <laughs> the deal is, Eric is, it, it is Eric's last day, but not because he's going away forever. But what, you're going out of town. Yeah, oh yeah, going to England. Going so, to the old UK. Oh yeah, the old the UK. Homeland. The homeland, yeah. the motherland. Exactly, so. if you guys didn't know, Eric's parents are dad or? Uh, like, just my dad. Just your yeah. dad. My dad is from England and my mom was from Alabama. Oh so my gosh. That's a How weird mix. How did that, that's, yeah. That, that's the Alabama the Alabama part explains a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, that's <laughs> <a nice joke. laughs> no, no, that's a, no, 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 just joking. I love you, Alabama. The truth is, is that Eric is going over to the UK for about what, ten days? Uh, like for that? about ten days. Yeah. Oh my God, yep, that's yep, so yep, awesome. Yep. What are you going to do without him? Um, I'm going to go to California. Oh, that's right. But Dang. bring back some like some tea or something, dude. If that's, some chocolates, some chocolates. If, chocolates. That's, if that's legal, I know the whole Boston Tea Party thing happened. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. If, like, you can bring back tea, but if you I can, think you can, I think you can. Back. So wish yeah. in the comments, wish Eric all the luck in the world for his uh, adventure across the pond. Uh, it's going to be amazing. We will miss him. And Yo Noah is going over to LA too. So I'm not going to have Noah or Eric for an entire week, do? week and a half. It's gonna be what are you going to do? So, actually, it's going to be really quiet and peaceful yeah, here. Yeah, this so. is the best yeah. thing. It's going to be so awesome. So no, uh, <laughs> so have a fun time. Right? Thank you so right, much. Cool. I'm actually leaving this weekend. Go over back to England. See all my family. I haven't seen them in years. I'm super excited. That means Mary's going to have to pick up my slack. I run a tight ship around here, okay? So I just want to make sure she knows what's going on so there's no, you know, nothing gets messed up or goes missing or anything like that. So let's go find Mary and get her up here and show her the ropes. Hey, Mary. How are ya? I'm gonna be gone next week. Really mm -hmm. sad, she's really sad. But uh, I'm gonna need you to pick up my slack upstairs. I'm gonna show you what's going on, show you what to do, what not to do. I'm gonna guide you, okay? I'm gonna take you under my wing. So let's get it started. All right, Mary, so listen, I'm gonna need you to really pay attention on this one. Got some dangerous animals up here, okay? These are just for backup. We got venom control on uh, speed dial. Anyways, this is little Jeffrey, okay? Jeffrey likes fresh water. I see his water's a little low. He only drinks bottled water, okay? That's the only time he'll drink his bottled water. Just tap that off. Don't be drinking this stuff. Just drink the tap water. I, this is my favorite snake, so just be extremely careful. Okay, here, I'll pick him up. Don't you do this. Only I can do this. <laughs> okay. Look at that. There he is. I know we have a hog nose at home, but just don't touch him. And if he gets a little cranky or if he's not wanting to eat for you, just maybe do like a FaceTime. I could talk to him and we'll, we'll get it figured out. Got a clutch of ball pythons to cut here, and these are actually a normal, just a normal female, bred to a fire bee, which is a pastel of fire, and it's a spider. So we should get all kinds of stuff. We get fires, we get pastels, we get fire bees, we get fireflies, we get bumblebees. You get the point. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we have here. Not a ton of eggs left to cut for the year. Looks right off the bat. It looks like we just have a fireball python, just a single gene animal. I wouldn't expect there to be anything crazy in this clutch, but that's why we cut clutches because we never know what's going to happen. This looks like a little firefly right here, so it's a pastel and it's a fire. Really beautiful animals for sure. Let's go ahead and get moving on this one. Looks like a little, looks like a, probably a fireball python, maybe even a normal. I'm not 100% sure until they hatch out because in the egg they look kind of similar. I'm pretty sure that's a fire the more I look at it, but anyways, regardless. But like I had mentioned, I'm not expecting some great combination because the female was just a normal ball python but this one looks like a let's see looks like a fire spider ball python so getting a lot of combinations not a lot of stacking of genes at this point but that's just kind of the way things go when you start having one of the animals is actually a normal another fire bee so the female isn't really contributing to any of the mutations right only the male the female is just a wild type normal ball python so it's just a three gene animal so the most we can get is a fire bee which is exactly what we just hit is a fire bee there's a pastel, it's a fire, and it's a spider. And that was pretty awesome right on cue. Two more eggs to go in this clutch. Let's see what we have here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Looks like probably a firefly, which is a pastel and a fire. And then last egg in this particular clutch. Boy, am I gonna miss egg cutting, guys. I know I can get redundant from some of you guys after cutting 100 plus clutches already this year, but I still love it. This little monkey is actually flipped on its back, so I have no idea what it is. Looks like it's probably a spider. Could be any of the above, to be totally honest with you, because all we could see is its belly right now. So uh, there it is, a real quick egg cutting for you guys that love it. And uh, again, we probably have maybe 10 or 12 
12 clutches to go for the year. All right, so I gotta explain to Mary now to, you know, she's not as an advanced keeper as I am, okay? Let's just say she's a little, a little far behind, you know what I mean? But, uh, so these Mary, actually eat earthworms okay do you know what an earthworm is I really no yep so i'll have to send her a picture or something <laughs> old mary but anyways these worms have to be cut about five millimeters okay just very small strips of worms two of them you like the tail pieces two tails okay not the heads the heads use them for fish and throw them away that's sally all right jesse Raphael. i named that one myself just be very careful, these guys are very delicate, a little more advanced keeping, you know. These guys are eating fish. I like the water temperature, so we're around 64 degrees. 63 is pushing it, it'll work. But uh, get those in there, make sure they're eating. I just don't want to come back to a bunch of hungry snakes, you know what I mean? I tell you what, that is one messy cage right there. Lucy destroyed her cage as always. You know how she does things. Ever since I've had her, she has just been a wreck in this cage. Regardless, it's time to take her out, get her cage all cleaned up, clean that nasty water out. Not as bad as usual, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, but hopefully Lucy's gonna be in a good mood. You in a good mood, girl? In a good mood for me? Come on, baby, come on. You're okay. There she is. Oh, oh right in the poopy water, got me right in the face. Ah, oh, come on, girl. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Ugh. I'll tell you what, she's a big snake. All right, the guy's ready? She's yep. fine, she's, she's acting okay. good. You can just take her right on, just start pulling her out. Right. Come back in. You got a roost, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. The good news is, as you guys know, is that Lucy loves water. She needs a good soaking to get some of this last shed off. Get her in this water. There you go, sweetie. Go ahead. There she is. Okay. All right. We'll soak her up as we're cleaning her cage out and uh, we should be all set to go. All right, so some of these snakes are a lot faster than your pythons and stuff, all right? So you just gotta be really careful. They won't hurt you, they won't hurt you. Sure. So this thing here, this is little Jimmy, all right? Jimmy, hold on, Jimmy. Jimmy is, uh, ah. like I'll say, don't, don't get bit, it's bad for the hobby. The little Jimmy likes to be handled every now and then, you see what I mean? Jimmy, 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 it's Eric. Jimmy, stop. It's just little Jimmy, he's just like that, you know what I mean? Jimmy. What did we talk about? So just try and work with Jimmy. I like to try and pet his head is usually what, what happens here. There you go, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> just try and work with Jimmy, show him some love. He's being a jerk right now. <laughs> Listen, I know you're not as advanced of a handler as I am. So, you know, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. Keep but, talking. you know, the uh, Jimmy, Jim. Hold on, Mary, Mary, help, help Mary. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm not gonna tell you again, stop. Jimmy! Hold on, we got technical difficulties here. Can you cut, ow! You can cut all this stuff out, right? Yeah, 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 dude, okay, I got you. Okay, thanks, man. Jimmy, get in the, <laughs> like I was saying, this isn't an easy job, okay? <laughs> it's not, you know, for the lighthearted, if you will. You know, do do I cut a couple of corners? Sure, only the best of them do. But uh, I think I showed you the ropes. I showed you what to do. You know, I, I know I've got big shoes to fill. You're, you're gonna do just fine. And if I come back and anything's messed up, okay, Adam. Okay, that's the American <laughs> Divorce Association for Men. I'm just kidding, but you'll definitely <laughs> be sleeping on the couch a couple nights, all right? I think we're gonna be good here, guys. Let's 
see what Lucy's got going on. I'm sure she's got a nice shed right now. Again, she's been soaking for probably about 35, 40 minutes, something like that. And the shed that is on her seems to be coming off pretty easily right here. And again, just like the Night Fury thing, I always talk about, you know, sometimes people think it's bad to try to help remove shed from a snake. But if it's already shedding and is stuck on there, helping it come off just like this isn't a problem at all. What you don't want to do is prematurely take off shed skin because that can actually hurt the animal, right? I mean, until they're absolutely ready to shed, you don't want to take that skin off because that epidural layer is going to not be completely healed up and it can actually scar up and stuff like that. Definitely hard, but this girl is already shed. Obviously, she's ready to go. So by taking her shed off, it's actually helping her a little bit. There you go, baby. There it is. <laughs> I've got to imagine it's relatively soothing for them too to get that skin off. I mean, I don't really know, but get Lucy like we always do. Just kind of slowly let her crawl back in her cage and my thought would be she'll probably want to crawl right up into that tree like she always does. But maybe not. We'll have to see. Look at how beautiful she looks right now. I mean, she just looks incredible. I tell you what, until you get the snake out, you really don't realize how big she is. That's a big, that's 20 feet of snake right there. I love the fact that she's lean and mean, and that's the way I like to keep my retics to where they're not so obese where they're gonna actually shorten their life by having all that fatty liver built up, right? So she looks incredible, <laughs> she is climbing, so oh my God. Absolutely amazing. As always, cleaning Lucy's cage can be an adventure, but today things went great. That was definitely absolutely bizarre with that sand boa. I've had egg binding with egg layers, but it's really rare to get bound up with a live bear. So that was really crazy. As a matter of fact, one of my most watched videos ever is right here, which is an egg bound snake. Here's another playlist. If you want to just kind of roll through things, over here is that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on. If you don't mind, have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.